Welcome back to Two Morons Garage. Today we're fixing <laughs> our problems. So uh, I got some advice from that gentleman, Brandon, that was with us, that paid for our lunch. Thanks, Brandon. He did a lot of things for me, particularly that weekend. It was very nice. You Good missed for you, out. Frank. You anyway. missed out of the party. <laughs> well, you know, anyway, <coughs> these are towed out in the back, and this is Big a problem time. that uh, is inherent from the factory, right? There's some adjustments here. We got to figure this out. That sucker. Pretty much good to go. Yeah. But uh, Frank hit a tree and peeled up the roof in a spot. We'll fix that. But uh, this thing needs a lot of overhauling. I don't think these 35s are good for racing. And uh, not on tight short course stuff. No. We got some racing coming up. So this weekend, there's a gentleman named Xander who's in East Jordan, which, if you want to see Michigan, is up here. And we're here. So yep. it's like three ish hours away. Yes, we're going to go racing this weekend, short course. And uh, this thing's not really set up for short course. And Frank's already talking crap about racing me. In my own machine so it's a it's a weird situation but regardless his numbers on it i think that means it's his now not legally but like for the moment but uh anyway yeah so we're gonna take this sucker hey, if in. keys are in it i'm racing it that's true we're gonna take this sucker in adjust the toe in so it actually handles not yeah, out not uh, out yeah they are uh not looking good i think yeah when i hit that the one's tree, not bad it's that one that's really bad well regard yeah you can see it oh my gosh yeah. but uh, anyway yeah so when it's towed out it just wants to like pull you around and do weird stuff it really sucks but uh, anyway two morons garage we're gonna take these suckers in you get them cleaned up get them ready to race and then i want to go out and do a couple laps on the frank frank track what are we calling that is there a name uh well it was the uh it used to be no limit compound but no limit compound okay well there is limits because you got up on two wheels so you've reached a limit so right. It can't be no limit. High limit compound. So you're saying we should do that like before we wash these? Well, I think we should get them figured out. Race trim and then Race test trim, them out. And then wash. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this week we got a lot of interesting stuff going on. You guys love to stick around for the videos on that. But today we're getting these in, getting them prepped. It's going to be a good day. Off the trailer we go. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, yeah, and just up over the... freaking droop on this thing. Go for it, Frank. Oh my gosh. She's a big girl. This thing is huge. It's hard to really understand how much suspension travel there is here. Oh yeah, like, right, eh? Holy crap. Yeah, she's in four wheel, dude. Almost smashed into you and the furnace, real sorry. What do you think, man? I'm thinking I'm surprised it's not more broke. So, hitting that tree, very scary, but these Pro R's are just so strong. Very Everything's minimal. So You'll see that in the last video. Yeah, the, uh... it just sucked. You know, these aero discs, these wheels, I think they were like a really cool idea to begin with, but in use, they're not actually that good. I don't think it's the tire's fault. I think it's just the entire machine. It's not like slammed. It's really high. Mm -hmm. This wheel and tire setup is super heavy. These wheels in particular are super heavy too. So they're not really like designed for a side-by-side. -side. They're a car wheel. So they're more heavy. Correct though. Anyway, I don't have any other wheels at the moment. Those are just limbo. Uh, limboed. Right. So we're gonna give this sucker the shake of health here. I don't want to knock it off the rig, but oh, you're going to. You know, you check the wheel bearings, you check the bushings, you check everything. Just give it a little. Oh, dude, sucker's tight. All right, about this side. <laughs> Super tight. These things are just beefy. So to adjust that toe, we're gonna hit right here. Uh, I think we're going to loosen it and just see what happens. I don't really actually know. I've never done this. We have determined it is a 21. I don't even know if there's anything on the backside holding that. Like, is there a... Oh, yeah. This might be I a take, take the wheel, wheel off. off. Yeah, we'll see if it'll come loose. I doubt it. People are going to make so much fun of us. We just love it. How much fun? All of it. There we go. Oh, oh, my God. That was crazy. Okay, look at this. So this is interesting how this works. There's a cam washer on here, and there's a slot actually cut into okay, yeah, the, the tow link. Well, look at that. The nuts. Huh. Kind of back out, Frank, and get this whole movement on video. Look at this. 
That's a lot of movement. That's a ton of why movement. Why do they even make that much movement? I don't really know. Like, Maybe. why would you need that much movement on the wheel? I think Polaris in general, like, things from the assembly line are a little loose, right? Especially with all this travel and the links of everything. And engineering tolerances would say that you need to have this much adjustment. Because they wouldn't do it unless you needed it. So, I don't really know how much toe we need. All of the toe? Most of the toe? Three quarters of the toe. Three quarters. We'll do a three quarter <laughs> toe adjustment on this sucker, dude. <laughs> Wheel has to come off, Leo. <laughs> I didn't believe you had this machine for how long you didn't own this. Uh, I don't want to know this. I've never worked you on spin it. Spin the nut, it's going to spin everything. Okay, well, the nut the is attached to a bolt, obviously, and yeah. you got to hold the bolt. You got to tighten the bolt, not the nut. Otherwise, it just spins the washer. So, yeah. Anyway, wheels got to come off. Come off. That thing weighs a ton. Yeah, it does. Where is this bolt? Oh, there she is right there, dude. Oh, okay. And it's got a little cam washer on this side, too. All right, so we determine if we hold the bolt and just spin the nut, it'll actually work. All right, bring her back to where she needs to be, Frankie. <coughs> okay, I will hold, and then it will retain everything. Okay, that's good. Nice. All right, well, let's put these wheels back on, lower it down, and we'll see what this toe looks like. Hopefully the toe is good to go. All right, shorty looks better. It might be like super towed in. This is a big girl. Yeah, Frank's got to get up into her. When it's adjusted all the way up, it is so tall. It's probably like 24 inches of ground clearance right there. All right, watch it when he turns it on. Wow. Yeah, okay. She's towed in a lot. I mean, I think they're probably not the same on each side. I think they're the same. We'll have to see what it feels like, you know? Maybe she feels good. Oh, there she went down. There she settled in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. Got her down on race mode, eh? It does feel a little more racy right now. Mm. I wonder how the toe looks. Oh, it's in, bud. Hell yeah. Yeah, is that what you're looking for? Let's see. Oh, it should be. Yeah. It's almost like it's in a little bit, but not a lot. Like this Tipped. Thing. Yeah, this is kind of the same way. Good deal. I think that's going to just basically guide the machine straight as opposed to getting your hippie jibby everywhere. Hippie anyway, jumping? I took the aero disc off too. Oh, yeah. Because I broke the one, so now I'm down to the old rotiforms. Also, missing the cap that normally would go on these. Oh, there's a cap that goes on there? That would look cool. Yeah, it looks way cooler than that green thing. So do you have to add a little bit of oil? It looks like she's down on oil a little bit. That can happen with these race cars. And then, uh, yeah. Wait, Frank. you said race car. Hold on. Is this actually a race car? It's been a race car since day one, dude. As soon as I put this turbo on, suckers destined to break all the time. All right, we'll let her slide this time. It hasn't broken yet, but it will break eventually. <laughs> uh, and then Frank is going to get the X3 out and rip the track out back. A little practicing. We can really see how that sucker works. Make sure I like it. Make sure oh, I don't have to do much major. I think you're gonna like it a lot. I know. I mean, I took the Pro R on it, so it's gonna be interesting to see the difference. X3 is way faster, 100%. Mm -hmm. She's an actual race car. Oh. And we can talk over all the stuff it's got, because not a lot of people know what it all has on there. So yeah, there's stuff. a lot of trick stuff that, uh, whew. what are you doing here, bud? Just oil change stuff, you know? You gotta pry your stuff out to get the oil changing <laughs> devices going. There you go. We're good. We're totally good. This thing has a built-in crowbar holder. Right there. What's the chance you're going to leave that there and take off? And... Zero. Just like the camera on the roof. You just grabbed it. I know. This is race car stuff. You don't need that. There, yeah, but you put your belt in there, so we might need that. We do need that. <clears throat> Let's not forget that. We need T40s. Stat. Bing. How do you like that light? It's so bright. Frank said that he wouldn't be getting sick from me because he has O negative blood. <laughs> and uh, the only way he could get sick if it's from someone else that has O negative blood that's also sick. And I have that. So whatever <laughs> wise tale Frank's dealing with. Boy's sick, dude. Anyway, let's see what we got under here. Yeah, right. just take it easy, bud. Please. Hey, hey, Something hold on. Hooked to this? Hold on, hold on. What? Can you just get to it like that? Yeah. Add oil like that? Dude, I'm going to get the bed out. This is what happens when someone else does all your side-by-side -side work for you for the last five years straight. You just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Why is it locked in like that? I don't know. Is there something attached?
attached to it. No. It's hitting the hard stuff. <laughs> What's the chances of that going back in? There we go. There was just a slight, slight misnomer on the design there. Yeah, I can see us putting a little door in that thing somehow. No way, Frank. All we yeah. gotta do is get to the oil right here. I know. Yeah, we're gonna add some nose hairs. Hmm. I trim them. We're gonna uh, add some 540. Got a little bit of uh, stuff there. You know, that's just for moisture. Not a big deal. Yeah, you hey know. guys, welcome to Two Morons Garage. So we're gonna add 540 to this sucker, which I think is probably pretty close to what's in it. It's synthetic, two synthetics at the same time. Ooh, nice pour job. You didn't even uh, PJ. Didn't even lose any. It's only a half quart. No it's funnel needed. Motor. Oh yeah. Oh. Didn't even need no fur around it. Ain't no fur, no funnel, no nothing. I'm excited to race this sucker, dude. I've been trying to prove how good this Razor chassis is for a long time. Not really. The X3 is going to smoke me. I hope Frank wins. Frank, are you going to win? Uh, we're going to try. Better no, win, there's dude. no guarantees, but you know. Here's, here's what's guaranteed. X3 is a beast. A little longer than a few minutes later. He's got the only Cali leaned Magnum in the entire world. Frank, you said you got pulled over the other day. What happened? <laughs> what happened, dude? <laughs> On the way home from our trip there. So she pulls me over and goes, uh, where's your uh, or license registration, all that good stuff? Yeah. She goes, what happened to your plate on your trailer? And I go, man, flew off on the way up north. <laughs> oh, yeah, shocking, right? Yeah, that, that's what really happened. So uh, she goes, I hate to tell you this, but you're going to have to get a new one. They, they, you, they get them right from uh, Secretary of State. I says, yeah, but it was the weekend. You know, I'll, I'll get a hold of it when I get back Monday. She says, okay, yeah, no problem. And then at the end of the story, she goes, you probably ought to look at getting into a new trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree. Even the I cops mean, think you want a new trailer, dude. True, but, you know, it, it does the job for now. I'm missing a glove. Oh, no. I mean, that's probably less skin than you had showing when you were wearing a glove. So, that thing was cooked. Well, before Frank gets too crazy, this thing does have LSK X travel, which is like, okay, the car is dirty right now. But this is like the craziest front suspension of all time. There's no control arms. It's just literally bars that hook into this giant fabricated knuckle. And there's a uh, additional shock support up here that's different than factory. When you steer the car, it looks wacky. And then out back is uh, some ZRP billet trailing arms. These are insanely expensive, insanely strong. And then it has like regular things like regular Pro Series uh, radius rods out back. But no one's really got these and not many people have the LSK X Travel. Right. Start this thing up, Frank, and show them how it looks when it turns. It's pretty wild. Okay, so look at how much the shock and everything moves when it turns. Like so much is going on. And basically what this is doing is it's putting the center of the pivot in a virtual point, which is at the center of the tire. So steering feedback is basically gone. And you just get this awesome, super duper high strength unit here. There's uniballs at every point. Like this is what desert racers use. So she should be strong enough for you, Frank. I think we're good. No! <laughs> oh, one too many starts without good enough runtime. And the battery's dead. I friggin' knew it. A few minutes later. Okay, we're good. Give her hell, Frank. This thing obviously has the smart shocks, but. For some reason, I enjoy running on comfort, and I'm gonna run these first couple laps of two-wheel drive because I know how tight this is, and I'm gonna want the ass in to do some super swabbling. Oh, big two-wheel drive guy. Dang, she's backfiring a lot. <laughs> he needs four-wheel badly. Then what is going for now? Dang, that thing sounds good.
figuring it out. Frank, looks like you're having a hard time making that thing turn. It's a little bit slippery out here and like this LSK suspension, you lose a little bit of articulation. You mean, uh, yeah, like the steering angle? The steering angle, yeah. yeah. We're doing the best we can. It is very tight here, you guys, you understand this. Yeah, I think it's really tight. You gotta drive a little more aggressively, I think. You want a little more aggression? Yeah, like a lot more. You wouldn't think I have to tell Frank to drive something more aggressively. To make that car work, you really gotta just beat on it. There you go. <laughs> some good aggression get mad at that thing Frank there you go always oh, getting pissed now Too, to get this thing to slide a little better. Well, right, right now we're at, uh, I think they're at all at 15. Okay. Maybe the front could stay and the rear could have a little more so she slides? I don't know. How is it though? Come again? How is it? Awesome. It gets better when you push it harder, yeah, right? Yeah, it does. I, I was actually saying that. The harder you do push this car, the better it does. It feels like it's going to tip, but this mm -hmm. thing is so planted to the ground. Yeah. It's insane. All right, let's see what that Razor can do out here now that you've completely ruined the track. <laughs> oh, we'll get all the jump box out of here, you know. I was just telling Frank that uh, the Razor is 100 horsepower less now, bud. Oh, so that, oh, that's the look different here. Let's fix your hoodie. Right. What's wrong with my hoodie? God, it's looking goofy. What are you doing? Motocross style, baby. You got to be straight. You can't be all goofy looking. You're with me now. Yours were all over the place. No. Yeah. They're right here. Oh, they were like, right, it the was like this. Well, maybe because of the freaking gold. Should I have helped you? Just, it's fine. Just kidding. Okay. All right. Sorry, Dad. The Frankie Proving Ground. Season race mode. She'll be in freaking truck mode. All right. All the turning radius in the flares. First time. Is he going to hit? Oh, oh beautiful. Butter. <laughs> this thing is... Three, so that's 
slippery though. Just beautiful. He wasn't even wide open. He got over that double perfect. X3, I had to be wide open from the corner to get over it. <laughs> These 35s are, I love them, man. Not short course <laughs> He's doing pretty good for the first time out here. I will give him that. Eric, can you get this corner? Nope. <laughs> She's just too tight. She's too tight. <laughs> I can't control this thing out here. <laughs> hey. She's tight. I can't control this thing out here at all, dude. <laughs> oh my and to think gosh. You're just doing a lot more sliding. It's nuts. Yeah, it's sliding like absolute nuts. And then it's grabbing the ruts and the suspension's curling <laughs> under. And I can feel it wanting to do stuff. That's bad. Oh, come on now. <sighs> just, hey, uh, uh, just push her harder. She'll work better. I don't think that's the same with this car. <laughs> I really don't. Man, yeah, that race coming up, I think we're going to have our hands full. So with you, with a little bit less turning radius, having to get used to that, this thing with all the power, I need some stock wheels for it. So I think I might have a couple sets lined up, but if anyone near it basically anyone in michigan has a stock set of pro r wheels and tires like i could use them these 35s are just too darn big for what we're trying to do they do grip good they they grip insane yes but like my plan for this car was just a smooth trail car not a short course racer so yeah we'll see <laughs> all right so i had a little idea frank What's that the idea? i wanted to do uh i think i'm just gonna go do it and if you're mad at me for doing it then we'll just cut it from the video but I'm just gonna go do it. I'm in. Just follow me. All right, she's in four locker and rock mode. We're in low gear. Frank has no clue what I'm about to do. Stand over there by that boat. He wants me to stand by the boat. <laughs> I think he knows I'm gonna do now. <laughs> Are you serious right now? That is so not a good idea. What is he thinking? <laughs> oh, come on! If he gets up on top of that, he knows there's a lot of stuff back there. I hope he's not doing that. <laughs> He's just uh, a little more gas. Hit it, hit it, hit it. There it is. It's kind of got it. All right, we have a path now. I think we got this, bud. I think we got it, Frank. gonna hit metal on the other side, I guarantee you. Uh, you didn't make that very well. Listen, but I tried to make the junk pile. I'm really sorry. Do you know what you would have done if you would have made the junk pile? Is it a sheer drop off on the other it's side? It's a sheer drop off and you got uh, a lot of iron oh. farm machinery on the other side. Well, I didn't look at any of that. I just thought it'd be funny. Oh, to try goodness. To... Did I get a tire? We got air coming from something. Dang it. You can't even climb a junk pile anymore these days. <laughs> yeah. This is what this is gonna do. I did this sort of on purpose. It's gonna force me to get different tires for this race. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Fine. <laughs> yeah, he just did it on purpose so he didn't have to drive anymore. Okay, I Today. didn't. I Today. thought the junk pile would be funnier than it was. Anyway. Uh, it would have been real great if you would end up on the other side up against all the, you know, root rakes and all that stuff. It would have been great. <sighs> anyway, uh, this has been a great episode of Two Morons Garage. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, a race this weekend. I'll put a link to the uh, race event 
in the description. Where is it at? East Jordan? East Jordan. I think we're looking for a 32 car field. We got 28 cars right now. So basically totally full. Uh, can people come watch, Frank? Do you know that? I do think, yes. There's definitely wow. people uh, things to do. There's things to do. And yep. you could do it. So link to that uh, race in the description. And thank you guys, all the wonderful people here that are supporting us yep. on Race Rebuild Repeat. Good people. We gotcha. really appreciate you guys. You're the biggest supporters of the, of the channel right here. Boom. These are the biggest people. So anyway, two morons garage. It's been a great day. Man, I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> I'm going to want to rename this thing two morons garage. <laughs> Let's not do that. I mean, the sidewall, tough break. Didn't really think that was going to happen. But at uh, end of the day, it's going to force me to get better tires for the race, which could put me in a better position of winning. You're not going to win. What we're trying to do. What? You're not going to win. Why not? Because I'm going to be racing. Oh. Yeah, that's facts. We've never actually raced each other ever, by the way. We have. When? Uh, one time at my uh, fair race. You uh, and I are on the same track together. We were on the exact same track together. I was in clapped out. I was in two-wheel drive for some stupid reason. And, and what happened? it screwed me. Uh, you beat me by like five hundredths of a second. There we go. I was in two-wheel drive. I mean, that's not my fault. Does, doesn't matter, right? I, I know. I, I know. My car was an X3, dude. I don't, what does that mean? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> you had right. like 500 horse. It was the XES. No, that car only had like 240. Anyway, we need some new tires. If anyone's got Pro R wheels and tires, I'll say it again. Please hit me up. Comment below, an email, whatever. It's in the uh, description of the channel. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. We've got a really cool thing coming up that we're doing. You're really going to like it. Ooh. So we'll see you then. Bye.